Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to use a PC controller to play on games like Combat Arms, Maple Story, RuneScape, etc. Firstly, open up your internet browser and go to the link in the description. Once you've done that, wait to download the file, wait the 20 seconds, for some people it will be 45. Yep, once you've downloaded it, the file should look like this. Double click it. Oh, wait, firstly, right click, properties. If you're on Windows 7 like me, you have to go to compatibility. Click run this program in compatibility mode. Change to Windows Vista Service Pack 2. And click run this program as administrator or it won't work. Now once you open this that you get your controller. Now with your controller you should get all of this information right. Right now when you start you won't have a picture. Look in the description to get the picture. I'll just start a new one for you guys. It should look like this. Now images there is no actual downloader, but I'll upload two pictures for you guys. Now, I have this picture, which I use. Now, when you have your gaming controller plugged in, you need to um, click sticks, if it has sticks. Click enable, and click and move it to the left and up. Then you move <coughs> left and up. Sorry guys, that's my dog. Then you click enable, then you click left, up, and then you have your second stick. Then if it has a D-pad, like mine, because mine's Xbox 360 controller, but wired, you click up, down, left, right, and you move it in there. This picture is basically just so you can see what the controller will look like. Now once you've done the D-pad, you do buttons. Now, first, before I do buttons, I normally do triggers, because with an Xbox 360 controller, LT, RT are both triggers. So you go left trigger, right trigger, and they're located there. Now with buttons, when you click the button, like I just clicked RB, no, LB, sorry. LB, then if I click LB again, see it comes up. RB... I click back, start, the only button you can't set is actually the center Xbox button, click X, move it over, Y, move it there, B, move it there, A, move it there. Now don't forget that the analog sticks you can push down as well. Push down, and it's moved here. Push down the other one, and move it here. Yep. Now, once you're done with that, just close this, and you still have this window. This window right here. Now, to change what this button is, this is my CA build. Yeah, it's just set for CA. Combat on, this some of you people don't know. See when I move now. I can also you can also use this as a mouse instead of actually using the mouse. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Now if you want to change these, what I recommend first is your mouse settings. Mine are set at 95 and 45. Make sure that your Y value is lower than your X value because it just that's just how it works. You can set it inverted if you want to. Now to change it, just click on the button and then either click here what you want it or type it on your keyboard. I like this as W, but just say I wanted it as Q. I click Q and it's changed to Q. But I want it back as W, click W, it's done. Now 
once you set all your buttons you click save as and it comes up as that now I've already saved a CA build so yeah this is my CA build now when you're done with this uh, just save it click save as now I'm gonna open I'm not gonna save it because I already have it I'm gonna save open my CA build okay that's the exact same as before as you guys can see I'm just gonna open the internet I'm gonna open combat arms just to show you guys Yeah, you guys know my username now. Yeah, I just started a new account, so yeah. You click start game. Loads. Oh, sorry guys. Yeah, that's the computer talking. Game will load takes normally takes a while. Yeah. I'm just gonna turn the sound off so you guys can hear me clearly. Yeah. User settings. West Coast. I go recruit. Cause I'm noob. Channel one. I'll just join the game just to show you. So in the game you can use your Round start. use your controller sprint. Yeah, I'm sorry guys. I'm not used to playing with the controller, but if you guys are, this would be a good idea for you. Round start. Yeah. It's hard to play oil rig with this many people. But the control is pretty good. If you guys don't like using the keyboard, this would be good for you. Yeah, so that's how you use it. Hope you guys enjoyed. So yeah, I'll be uploading more videos soon. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's actually my first video, so yeah. So this is how you can play any online game that normally doesn't let you use a controller use a controller you can also use it as a mouse see oh yeah these two are mouse buttons by the way if you guys just wanted to know so yeah